Good morning, you guys. What a morning. What a morning. So I did some looking into March. Now, as you can see, the table's kind of full. <laughs> the table is a little full this morning, so uh, you're not going to see as many crystals and stuff. But have no fear, they are all the way around us, and you're still being offered up all of that same healing that I offer up every day. You're just not going to be able to see it. Just like when I come on and do a video, you can't see it all. Um, all right. So I asked the universe. I went through my ritual, my drill that I go through while getting ready to do a reading. And I asked the universe to show us a little bit about March because here we are. It's March 1st, right? What? Tell us a story about what we can expect to see in March. Look at these higher arcana cards, you guys. March is kind of a big deal, huh? So in the month of March, there's going to be a lot of information that comes out. It's where miracles happen. It's, you know, we get the star right above it. And as Kevin likes to point out, this is 17. So lots of information coming out. I would say probably um, stuff that's being forced to come out by the good guys. All right. So we've got things that are being alchemized, uh, and there's a lot of strength in that, and justice is coming in, okay? And so with all of this new information, it's not going to feel that good probably to the normies. It's going to feel um, to the people that, that have been believing mainstream media, media and whatnot, it's going to not feel good, okay, you guys? So this information is probably stuff that we've been hoping would come out. And uh, other people are going to be like, hmm, I don't know, this feels awful. But look, we've got justice coming in, coming in strong. Things are being alchemized with strength to bring justice. So I wanted to know a little bit about justice, right? So I said, give me a little story around justice. Justice is moving fast, you guys. There's going to be a lot of feeling and chaos. So it's going to feel chaotic. Again, just like what we saw there with this new information that's going to be coming out, creating a lot of feelings for people. Okay. So when justice, justice is coming in fast and it's going to feel very chaotic, but the end result is really something very good. So like a big win, but it's not necessarily going to feel that way, you guys. Okay. So, yeah, lots of information, lots of higher arcana cards. So, then I said, um, so all this chaos and all of these feelings and this information and more feelings, does this have anything to do with, like, the WAR, um, that, that we're kind of all being set up to see, right? And... I got looking, looking out, um, information, deals, and work. So when I'm asking around the war, around the war scenario, yeah, it's going to look like the world, looking out at the world, right? Looking out at the world. Uh, all of this information as we look out at the world and these deals being made and all of this work. Yeah, it's going to be about, it's going to look like war. It's going to look very chaotic. It's going to feel uncomfortable. Um, and it's going to look like war because you're going to, this card right here is that indicator. They're standing there and they're looking out at the world. Okay. All right. And so there's stuff that's behind them. They're firmly holding on to one staff right? That's planted right in their hand and right in the ground. And they're looking out determined at the world. So as th this world war scenario is going to be played up more, uh, you're going to see people siding with different people, deals being made. You know, you're going to see the work that's going into creating this war scenario. So yeah, it's going to look like war. And I said, so they want, I said, is this, um, is a big piece of this like wanting to scare people, right? Is a, is a big piece of this fear. And I got, yes, fear is being wished into all of this. So yes, fear. It's, it's a wish fulfillment. 
So yeah, that, that side of things is going to amp up. Okay. So then I said, but we do have all of these, um, swords as well. And we know that that's information and the way that they maneuver things. So can you show me a little bit of a story around the information that's going to be coming out? So information is getting out there to the communities, a bunch of different information, um, and so a lot of people are going to feel as though they don't know what to do, okay? But the truth of the matter is all of this stuff is meant to bring in great healing and sovereignty. So even though everything is looking like chaos, okay, I, we got two in two places. We've got, even though it looks like chaos, it's just in, justice coming in feeling really chaotic, the end result is a win, okay? And so all of this stuff coming into the communities, it's going to make people feel like they don't know what to do. But the truth of the matter is it's going to be very healing and it's going to pull in sovereignty, right? So it's wished to make people afraid and it's definitely going to be amped up. The war scenario is going to be amped up, you guys. So then I asked, um, <laughs> as I walk around the table, right? I said, give me a little story around the mainstream media, please. I want to know about the mainstream media. Just give me some information around them. I get that the mainstream media is in dire straits and that that, that is about to end. I mean, they're in dire straits, you guys. That system is coming to an end, Okay. And you can hear my dog in the background. He's playing. Um, and that with them being in dire straits, it really is the answer to our prayers. Have some faith. Some gifts are being brought in. What's driving the whole reading is breadcrumbs. Those breadcrumbs that we've been asking for, the answer to our prayers that would bring some real news to people where they could be enlightened. So there's going to be breadcrumbs in, in the mainstream media that we're going to be very happy about. We have been praying for these breadcrumbs, right? And it will help to enlighten people, uh, have some faith, some gifts are being brought in via the mainstream. They are in dire straits. Their cycle is ending what mainstream media used to be. So I've used a lot of cards <laughs> And I can't go any further. This is where I would, you know, I would shuffle up the deck and I would dig further. So I did have a cancellation today later in the afternoon. Um, and if I can, if I can manage it, depending on what takes place, if I can manage it, I am going to come on and we'll deep dive into March, you guys, because it looks like there's a lot going on, right? They're going to amp up the war scenario. They're wishing that to scare a few people. Um, justice is coming in fast and furious. It might feel uncomfortable and chaotic, but the end result is like a win. Really good, really good stuff. So we've got these four major arcana cards here in this one layout as far as March. So March is like a big deal. We've got a lot of information coming out, justice coming, um, things that might might feel uncomfortable for people, but that's the wish, right? And then mainstream media looks like she's on our last legs, um, not doing very well at all. So I had a cancellation. I had an afternoon cancellation and I may come on and do a video, and it, that way when I'm doing the video, I can just pick everything up and I can shuffle them, and, uh, you know, we can really do a deep dive into March because it looks like it's going to be hot, you guys. That's exciting for us, right? That's really exciting for us. So that's what I'm going to try to do, you guys. I'm going to try to come back on later, and, and we'll really take a look at March. So anybody that wants any particular questions about March answered, um, put them in the comments, please, and we'll see what we can find. But this is going to be an interesting month, and I'm excited about it. Uh, I'm excited about it. I'm excited about mainstream media over there, uh, not being at its tops, and uh, bringing, bringing a little bit of truth and some breadcrumbs that will help to enlighten some people. You know, so I'm also excited that it's saying, even though it's going to feel a particular way, 
uh, it's really to bring in good stuff. So we've, we've gotten, you know, that it's going to bring in the good stuff right there and right here. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited to see what else is going on. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back, you guys. Uh, breathe in the healing as always. You know, I always intend that for everybody if you want it. Um, many, many blessings from me to you. Much, much love from me to all of you. This is uh, amping up. March should be interesting. So that's, I'm, I've got like, you know, my stomach's doing little flip-flops. I'm excited. So yeah, I'll be back, you guys. Much, much love to all of you from me uh, and to all of yours from me. Any questions about March, anything, anything particular, put it in the comments. Hope you found a little value in this. Uh, I'll be back. All right, you guys, take care. <laughs>